Francis came to sign my shit and just like the discomforting elements. If I were in this role, I have accepted a commitment to excellence as a red light. Coast Guard Honor Guard is the smallest of all the Honor Guards. We were established in 1962 by order of President John Kennedy. We go to Cape May, New Jersey, which is Training Center Cape, Cape May, where all enlisted members go to boot camp. And we go to Cape May every Friday and teach a class that's actually a part of the training PQS at Trace and Cape May. There are a lot of uh, tri-factors that come into play with, with recruiting. One of those uh, situations could come as males being six foot, females being five foot ten. Once they arrive on board, they're picked up at the gate, at the front gate, telecommunications information systems command uh, here in Alexandria, Virginia, and they start phase one. Hi, pal, sweetie. Hi, sweetie. Did you get a haircut? Not yet, but I'm so ready. Yeah, you're going to the honor guard. And what I. First impression, lasting impression, right? Yes, please. Your measurements are off. Right? You need to shine your low quarters. It's completely unacceptable. It's just like any other type of training process. You gotta start from the ground up. And uh, you broke down. But at this point in training, you know, in the beginning when they first get here, they're pretty much taking over the trainers wing, basic face and movements. So, what did I tell you? No more boot camp. Look at this, guys. No more boot camp. It's simple left face, all right? Left face. Stand in tight. From there, they'll move into phase two. And phase two is pretty much, they're starting to uh, march at this point and, and get a weapon in their hand. And they're really working on being an honor guard. Sport. The ropes and advice people that have gone through training. You've gone through the training cycle and now the Honor Guard is accepting you as one of their members. What does my rope mean to me? Well, to me personally, um, I don't even have words for it. My rope, I earned my rope back in 97, because uh, this, this is my second tour here. Um, and I came back because the Honor Guard was, was the, really the start of my post-grad career and it instilled values that you know, I, I feel I have good values coming into the Coast Guard, but the Honor Guard is still values that I don't think anybody else um, would receive. Just being around the, the people that you're around, um, your fellowshipments, uh, you know, being on the White House lawn, uh, being around the President, the other foreign dignitaries, and doing those funerals, um, it, mean, it, it meant the world to me when I first received it. It was, it was definitely a, uh, a day that I'll never forget, that's for sure. The drill team work that I'm wearing right now means a lot to me also. Um, it was handed down to me from the person that did the weapons inspection on drill team um, before me and that trained me and everything like that. Uh, I worked my butt off for many weeks trying to get my uh, just my manuals perfect for drill team and everything. And so um, this being handed down to me and it coming from somebody else, that came from somebody else and I'm down the line, that's, that, that's a pretty big deal to me. I've been separated from the rest have been taken out of 45,000 people, have been chosen to be the one to represent every member, past and present, of the United States Coast Guard in the highest, most dignified way possible. In honor, it means that I have to hold the standard, and the standard doesn't end with my career here in honor. Even though I won't be wearing this rope anymore, you remember what it took to get there and get that rope. It's not just something we wear, it's 
all the blood, sweat, and tears that we've put into training. So it's uh, carrying the caskets, it's presenting the flag, it's a uh, firing party, you know, it's colors, it's marching in platoon, it's all these things put together and uh, it means a lot to all of us.